Kui palju võib vajal, et tõlgiks? Et siis teen kiire kokku, et I will translate a little bit of the answer. So, we will begin with the second place, Jürgen Brink. Congratulations. Thank you. Please talk us through today's race. Yeah, it was a tough course, I must say. It was not so heavy, but up and down all the time. In the end, it's quite tiring to ski up and down. And my goal was to stay in the front group. And it was okay today. It was not the super hard pace, but it was some attacks and some persons who tried to get away. Because of the little snow on the tracks, it was uh, not so easy today. When was the decisive moment? Pardon? When was the decisive moment of today's race? Uh, also it was uh, <coughs> in the last 15k, it was uh, not so hard pace. It was little tactics. And then in the last 500, I just made a real attack. And I could follow him, so then it split up. And it was uh, Anders, me and Oscar, and then Anders was stronger in the finish, so, but I'm satisfied with the second place. Uh, I will translate a little. Küsisin siin Sergen kest, et palusin, et ta räägis natukene siis täna, sest sõidust räägis meid läbi sellest, ütles, et kogu võistus oli võõrdun siin aske, et kogu rada kulgeb siis tõusida ja muuda tega, et siis nagu arvestas siis rajaprofiili ja Kogu võistuse jooksul oli pidevaid sellised väikesed rünnakuid, aga lõpuks siis viimasel viiesel meetreil Anders siis kiiredas ja kolme kesine täksid ja Anders oli siis täna kiired. What about the future, Jürgen? What's next? I've been a biathlet to this season, but I could not qualify for the Olympics and I decided to make long distance races. So the next race will be Los uh, Angeles. So after that, I don't know. That's the next, next goal. Thank you. 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 Thank Tallinna Olympia mängudele ei kvalifitseerunud, et see ei pärast keskendus siis pikama sõidule ja vaasa lopetan siis järgmine distants ja keskendus siis sellel vasta siis pikemalt pärast distants. Thank you. So, Oscar, are you ready? Congratulations. Thank you. Talk us through the race of your point view. Uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it's always a tough race, it's uh, always up and down like this and uh, you need to fight uh, the whole time. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the snow and the wind uh, during the night, but the, I think the track was very, very good after this uh, windy weather. So, uh, there was a little bit different to be in the front, but not so big that I thought from the beginning. Uh, and uh, there was some good speed uh, from off the Matu, I think, uh, and the uphills, and then maybe a little bit slower uh, on the when it was down. But, uh, and then uh, it was a group, and quite a big group, and then people start dropping away. Uh, and, uh, then in the end, I understand that it will be a sprint. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you always hope that you have power to, to be number one, but uh, this time Jürgen and Anders was was from. Thank you. I will translate a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Oskar ütles siis, et, et alati on, on rada raske, uh, kulgeb ka tõusuda mõõnadega, et uh, ilm tegi tolle natukene muret. Uh, uh, et, Loodab ta alati olla lõpus ju kiirema, aga seda kukku olid siis kaks meest kiiremad, et püüdis nagu kogu aeg gruppi sees püüsida ja pidevalt siis kukkusid seal gruppis tagapool mehed ära ja nii see tänane päeva kolm paremalt lõpuks siis ka selgus, väga lühidel kokku võetuna. Oskar, what about the future? What's your plans? Next. The plan is to go home to Wolledalen tomorrow and train for Haaseloppet. Try to take my fourth victory there, uh, and then I also will go in Gadin ski marathon if I have power, and also Bilke Bane. And yes, now I'm yeah. the leader of the East Marathon Cup, and 
I will try to have this that position also in the end of the season. Thank you and congratulations again. Et Oskar et siis tuleviku plaanide kohta ka, et ta läheb oma koju treen, hakkab treening oma osalopetiks ja on siis ka nüüd siis maraton karikasari arvestuse sündid et, ja, ja üritab ka selles osas siis ikka seda positsiooni hoida. So, Andres, congratulations. Second time uh, winner. Thank you. Uh, Topis to the race also. I like uh, your real Oskar. Uh, I'm told it was a hard race, but uh, like the organizers here. Do every year, it was very, very well uh, prepared for the race, also for this year. So it was good condition in the front. But uh, <coughs> the first attack was Andrus from Montu and up to the, the climbing there. And uh, the pace was quite hard, but then it uh, dropped a little bit because it was difficult to to get away from the group. And uh, then uh, Jurgen and Oscar had some hard. Uh, hard pace during the race and uh, but I understand it was the last 10 kilometers that uh, would be the most important and then it was the speed was dropping and it was some attack but uh, it was just the two, last two kilometers I felt strong and tried to stay in the front. Uh, I will translate again. Uh, Andres ütles siis, et, et Matus tavates hakati ründama ja, ja seal tavates siis tüdiste kohe kliitete gruppi sees on Kõik oli taas ole kiire. Uh, Oskar ütles, et rada oli tegelikult väga heas korras tänas rajamistel, et, et oli sisse tehtud väga hea rada. Ja, ja lühidalt vastu ongi kõik, ehk siis saadus õhtuda kõige täpselt, et meil uh, kõik teha. Uh, Andres also, what about the future? Uh, for me, it's uh, Mosloppa in two weeks, and then uh, maybe Engadin or uh, the 50 km in Hong Kong. I don't know. It depends on how hard I am of Mosloppa, and then uh, Vicky Bernal race. So, uh, for me, it's uh, the long distance races for the, for the rest of the season. Thank you again and congratulations. Thanks. Et Andres ka siis osa lõpet ja, ja pikama maratonid on tal ees seisus, nii et üritab ka siis pikama suhtumisest selle kuu ajal, kuu ajal ees seista. Uh, Jenny, uh, sorry, Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, congratulations. Yeah, thank you uh, first uh, woman on today's course. Uh, talk us uh, through the race uh, from your point of view. Yeah, uh, it's a little uh, different uh, when you're later. Today I'm in the UK. Um, I have a good uh, start and uh, when I got the feeling first time uh, I heard that I was 45 seconds before. So I have a uh, going with the other man during the race and uh, I feel strong always. So I have a good day here this morning today. Sandra mõelis täna, et, et jõudu on piisavalt ja, ja et kogu, kogu võistluse jooksul oli tal, oli tal hea väljase tunne. Jenny said yesterday on the first conference that your her biggest competition. How was the competition on today's course? From uh, female? Yeah, uh, here is the fights, but uh, today I have the day in the uh, Australia's uh, Sandra, what about the future? Uh, I'm going home uh, today if I <laughs> reach the ferry in Tallinn, I hope. And uh, then I go uh, up to Mura on Thursday. And uh, I think I compete uh, Shane Lawson first, it's uh, 30k. And uh, then Vasa Lopez is the next uh, weekend for me. It's an important race. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Again. Thanks. And Sandra, you're going to train in the training and you're going to start with 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 the training and you're going to start with